Hi guys, hope you enjoy the content, but before you do that, don't forget to give us a like on YouTube, it really does help out. While you're also giving us a like, don't forget to hit subscribe and of course that little bell button to get notified. Also, give us a share as well. But before you do that, you can go also get a contact with us via Discord. The link is in the description below. So, on to the videos. Hi guys, welcome back to Transport Fever with the Back to Basics. So we are currently riding along the Tools Shunter Station. I expanded the Plastic and Grain Collection Station to 400 metres and I basically added a whole bunch more trains onto the shunter. Well, when I say trains, I mean wagons per train. So, I think it's going to stop here because there's a few big trains in the way. I've made the stations, uh, I've made the stations about the same size as the train. So, does that not have a Signal down, yeah, no, it doesn't, so they're having to wait back a bit. It's, it's not annoying, it's not too bad. So, basically, what I've done is I've just let this thing collect whatever it can get, basically, because it was only doing 40 of each, which isn't a lot. So, I've said, you know, just take anything, really. So that's what that's going to be doing now. So we'll take them back and forth. And I don't want to speak too soon, but the frame rate seems to be doing really good right now. And I don't know why, because I haven't done anything to the game. In the last couple of episodes it was a bit funky. If you know what I mean. But it seems to have, seems to have settled down. Which is good. So over here. A th I don't know if I showed it or not because it's been a few weeks since I've recorded and I can't remember what I've done. Uh, so basically what I've done is the trucks are only hauling... Uh, I can't remember if it's steel or what they're hauling but they're... They might be doing the planks. No, they're doing steel. So the trucks are taking the steel to here and the trains are taking the planks over rather than them doing split like splitting between them. Seems to be running just as good. So yeah we've got goods on the go now which is good. And they'll be hauling pretty much from the main bit here. So plastic will get picked up here and took away. And it'll be collected from here. This is like a sort of a lot of central hub at the moment. It's got tools, uh, food, which then goes down here, and then from there it gets sent up to here, and then from here it can go towards Hartland, Colford. Uh, Dawish, etc. So I've got a few different hub areas. This is Heartland. This is like my main area. Everything runs through here. It's the heart of the land. Get it? No. Okay. Uh, the frame rate is starting to go. Maybe it was because I was in a little dense area. If you look underground here, you can see I've got a massive subway system. I don't like... Can I... Uh, see, it uh, drops. It drops there. 
if I can make that better. But yeah, the subway systems are usually quite good. I guess I jinxed the game by seeing how good the frame rate was. <laughs> it's just completely dying on me now. So there's the risk. So basically all the trams running through here. Obviously these are running slow, these buses. But I don't think there's any de decent buses yet, is there? Look at that, which holds 32 and can go much quicker. Costs a bit more to run it, but it's a lot faster. I think we'll change the buses over. Time for an upgrade guys, because I think they can only go at 12 mile round or something. We'll get the buses upgraded. And I'm not too bothered about if they lose money or not, because the, the subway system is more than sufficient enough to keep them going. <laughs> Bet you as soon as I do this, a new bus will come out. If it happens, it happens. We will upgrade these. That's the only feature that I liked out of the new transport fevers, you can basically upgrade all the vehicles at one time, rather than doing all this. I have looked at transport fever too, I do like the look of it, but I'm fine with this one. I don't even know if this computer could run it right now, to be honest, anyway. You can see it's glitching out as enough as it is, so I don't really think it'll work. It'll probably work, but it will not look that good. God, I've got quite a lot of buses actually, haven't I? Don't realise how many bus services we've got. Almost thought I spelt Thrisk wrong there. <laughs> Oh, I just tell you the whole time I'm going to tell again. The risk. Yeah. Oh, God's sake, why was Caps Lock on? Risk. Yeah. How many bloody buses have they got? Bloody hell. Didn't realise I had this many buses. At least it's easy enough to replace them. Oh. I was expecting that to be a, tr a new bus or something. <laughs> Just after I've done all this. Oh, 
There's an air. Bus is coming in. Obviously, we ignore them. Them, because they're actually. It's because they've got bus in the title, but they're not actually buses, they're tram services. See that's only hitting about 20 miles an hour. But once it goes through, changes into the Merc, the Merc, it should be better. I actually quite like the old Mercs. So they should be quicker. I think they hold just as much people. So that will be fine. Oh look, OBS is dying. <laughs> Come on, what's by these roads? I'm no people. Must be aye, the subway station is right there. <laughs> so everyone just gets off and goes straight to the subway. It's good, at least it gets used. Well, at least the bus services are getting used, that's a good thing. Beep beep. I don't think we're following that bus, I think it's just a coincidental route right now. See, that's the one, yeah. So we basically follow that route, but we go right instead of straight on, basically. I think we ignore the bus stop. We just go right through it. I thought we went that way. I guess we go right here then. Yeah. 
I'm just going to completely block the tram off. But at least they're quicker now. So it shouldn't hold it up too much. See, it's just that's oh, fine. It's, it's actually quicker than the tram at accelerating, believe it or not. <laughs> but obviously, the tram will be quicker in the long run. So that's fine. Where is that tram going anyway? Um, let's follow this. I should have pressed that, should have just said follow. Never mind. I don't think this is a very long way anyway. I think, yeah. So I think if you go right, it takes shit into the actual city. Subway lane underneath us, isn't it? Because that's thing up there. And I know the subway station's over this way somewhere, so we'll probably, uh, probably cross these under. That was a horrendous looking bridge here, did you guys see that? Yeah, I think we were left here. This takes us into the actual depot. Oh, these. So there's only two. So no, it's not a bus lane around here. Yeah, there is, but the buses don't go in yet. <laughs> Let's see. Take that one away. Let's set this all up to up on. Hmm. See, I don't know how I'm going to implement the bus service into there. Unless I have a separate line just to do a, like a smaller loop. 
and maybe something like that. Something like that. Three. And that's a uh, thing. Get some buses. One, two, three, four. And get on bus slip three for Bingham. Well, obviously, take a few minutes for them to get down there. Let's see the. Oh, how are you getting on? 106 out of 300, so you're not really hitting much then. Financially, how are you? That's what I was making, 30 million roughly. That's fine, I'll leave it. So I just think that would be a bit easier for them to look around. Plus that's where they actually, no, they, but the trains go here though. I don't know. I suppose they can just get another bus down that way anyway, it's not, not the end of the world. So there's ten people went to go to Hedge. So if I click on this, cool. and apply zero. So let's see the actual stats for them. So we've got good rep, good. Population. I just don't have any deliveries going down here. Compared to Thrisk, that should have what it needs. Because it comes from just outside Dawish. So, what's it saying? So, it's not getting any commercial at all. It's getting construction and fuel. So I can see it's foods coming in actually now. Which is fine. I mean I've only got one train going between the two. So there's the actual train. Where's the actual train? Is it that one? Yeah, it must be. So it's got some food. 
It's not getting any tools or goods. Can I check? No, it's not actually set up to take goods. So that's why there's no goods going up there yet. So there's goods sitting here, food sitting here. Construction sound, <laughs> which I find amusing. Let's see this. What are you hauling? So you've not got any of the goods or that hook then either. Come on, game. See, it seems to come and go with the lag spikes. So, let's see. So, have you got a bus line? You must have if you've got them coming through. But they don't go through the bus terminal. Kind of need at least one of them to go through. So where do you go? Right, so after... Or what we could do... No, we can't because it goes the other way. No, that would work actually. Can I get look 2 instead? And what we do... Is instead of going to... Number 2... go here. So basically go in, look, and then continue. I think that's better doing it that way. Be easier that way. So these can now just go straight on then into there. That will just slot in there.
Yeah, it's looking good. Quite like it. I like how my wee vehicle's driving about. It's looking awesome. I'm just gonna have a quick check. Oh, that, I think I already did. Is there any new freight vehicles out? No. Probably soon, though. We're nearly in the 60s. Uh. But yeah, we're, we're looking awesome. That's the first step over there. I was wondering where they would go. That's got wow, that is a lot. It can basically catch the entire map pretty much. <laughs> the only bit it does, they catch is the commercial, the, uh, the residential. But yeah, that is going to be it for today, folks. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Transport Fever. With the back to basics map. Uh, yeah, we are looking interestingly good. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to pick up a whole bunch of tools and stuff. Can I just check this? So, that just takes tools, goods. What does this take? That takes food. And that takes goods. Right, I was just wondering if goods were going to here, but they are. But goods aren't being taken away though, are they? Not on that one. Not going on that one. And it's not going to be on that one either. So we aren't actually shunting goods up that way. Vehicles. So you're 10 and 10. You can easily... Get some goods on there. Sake. Right, replacement. Is that the old wagons or is that the new ones? I think that's the old ones. I think we can get bigger ones on that. Can I just scrap all of this? Because I think the wagons are actually small. Wagons, freight. One, two, three, four, five. Five, and then. Uh, goods. That'll probably cost a bit of money because we don't actually have them yet. Right, let's go and check this line. Actually, we'll do that in the next episode because I've got another episode to do. So until then, take care. Goodbye for now.